Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. Now that we know how many different memory types there are, yeah, well, there is an EEPROM, a flash prom, available on our Arduino. Yeah, and we can utilize it and we can store whatever we like on our Arduino and it will remain there even on power outage, like if you flash it on a flash drive, yeah? USB stick or whatever. Yeah? How do you utilize this? How do you utilize this? Well, there is a so-called uh, library. Library is something where we can include code which is not our own. Okay? So, to include a library, you have to write hashtag. Ooh, first, we will save it under new name. Stairway EEPROM. Okay. Hashtag include. And now we do have to write the library name in those pointy brackets. Okay. So, and the library name is eeprom.h. Yeah? H is a header file, a so-called header file, where it's including all the functions there are, which are, which come with this library. Okay? In the header file there is defined, it's like an, like, uh, inventory list or something like this. eeprom.h. Right. With this one line, we can now use the EEPROM. And the EEPROM, there are some functions we can use. Yeah? So we want to store something inside this EEPROM. Every time we, where is this? Here. Here's the new wait time. Okay? And we want to store in the EEPROM something. Yeah? How is this done? Well, you can write eeprom huh? and then dot and then there are different functions of this eeprom and we are using now the function put. Put is putting a new value into the eeprom huh? and we want to put uh, the wait time and we also have to tell where, okay? And this where is here. There is the address. Yeah? And the address can be zero, then it's written on byte number zero. And it can be 1023, yeah? then it's on the last byte. However, this wait time is four bytes long, so this would cause an error. Yeah? So we would have then to write it to 1020, because it then it's in 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, because it's four byte long this wait time. Okay. I will also use a compile time constant to define this. Define eeprom uh, wait time. I will skip so address wait time. And I will make it on byte number zero. Address wait time. Here. Now we are putting our new wait time inside the EEPROM. This put, you really have to take care that this put, you don't call this put too often. There is also there are also other functions which write to the EEPROM. I will you can simply look it up here on the Arduino page. Yeah? So under documentation, reference, yeah, you can see somewhere libraries yeah, and there is also this EEPROM library here. Open this and you see there's a read, there's a write, there's an update, there's a get, there's a put. Yeah. Read and write are only dealing with one byte values. Yeah. Update is somehow a combination of read and write and get and put are longer structures. Yeah. Uh, 
Write will write to the EEPROM whenever you and put also. If you put something to the EEPROM, this one memory position where you put it or write it, yeah, this will have where. Okay? So please do not write every cycle into the EEPROM because we will destroy it. There are around, let's say, 100,000 or something like this write cycles. And then it's getting a little bit dizzy, this one memory position, and will forget. And a memory which is forgetting is not a memory at all. Okay? So, now this is okay. Uh, if we adjust it, write it once, good. Uh, we are fine. Let's say. Uh, we could adjust it now 100,000 times. Around 100,000 times. I think this should be sufficient. So, we put it in. Yeah? We have to write it, to read it out also. And this is, of course, something for the setup. Yeah? So, I will write here now, print in it done, reading uh, wait time from EEPROM. And there is EEPROM dot get. Uh, I will use this get function. You can always click there and see how this looks like. Yeah? EEPROM get address data passed. Uh, so from which address? The same address. Uh, and from which, to which value? This wait time. And now we already have an, another problem because this wait time is defined in loop, a static variable in loop, and I'm using it in setup. This is not working because setup will does not know wait time. Yeah? If I try to compile this now, it will lead it wait time was not declared in this scope. Yeah? Ah, so I will have to make this wait time here to a so-called global variable. Yeah? Then it's simply accessible from all functions below. Because now it's defined here and this comes after. after. Hmm? So wait time, uh, I do not have to use the static here because it's a global variable is once defined and will stay there. It is not ending until we press reset, okay. But then if it starts up, it, it will simply be there, okay. Okay, get wait time. So um, I will write this now, wait time. And print line milliseconds. This line, I'm searching for this line because now we should see what we've read out. Okay, so in the setup, we will define all the stuff. We will uh, read from our address the wait time and well, we will use it. Passed. And now I should be able to compile it. Yes, now it's compiling because it's a it's a global variable. Yeah. Upload, open the serial monitor, let's see what is already aha, uh -huh. okay. So there is the maximum. Huh? It's the maximum wait time. If I press now the button, it's dangerous. Huh? <laughs> because if I press now the button and now it takes 49 days. This is not convenient, right? So, uh, this is only because right now in this memory there is written F -f 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 -f. Yeah. So, I'll press reset now to interrupt this. Wait time, yeah, and I will immediately learn something. Press it, okay. Now we are waiting a little bit, and now book. Press the button. New wait time, 7.4 seconds. Press the button, 7.4 seconds, waiting, going off. Yeah? This is working now. Okay. We should also have written it now to the EEPROM. So if I press the reset button now, we should read the new value. And you see, ah, reading from EEPROM, 4.7 seconds, pressing the button, 
4.7 seconds waiting. Okay, now it's stored in our EPRO. Yeah? Pressing the button, store another value. Yeah? Ah, we'll talk a little bit about something. How's the weather on your side? Here it's pretty nice. Thank you. Press the button. Now it's 13 seconds. Okay, press the button. Waiting now, 13 seconds. So this is working. And now if I press reset, even in the middle, yeah? reading out 13.1 seconds. And even if I unplug it, yeah? this will stay stored. Yeah? If I replug it, let's see, open, open the serial monitor again. In it, 13.1 seconds. Yeah? Press the button. Waiting 13 seconds. This is how you can store something in the EEPROM. And this is how you should store adjustable values. Okay? Use the EEPROM, then all adjustable values are stored, safely stored and available for the next for the next cycle, for the next for the next power up simply. Huh? We'll not forget. Yeah, next things we are going to talk about is analog things. Uh, analog inputs and analog outputs. Those things will then be in next videos. Okay. For this video, for this storing, adjustable values, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.